Hi, George Bruno here, also known as the Sultan of Silver, and we're going to do a little lunch break, Yavo, and a product review. Stay tuned. It looks like we have some product here from Shane Warrington of Anointed Beardsman, Leland, North Carolina. So let's open this bad boy up. Got the Spider Co. had this for a little while and just had an opportunity today so I thought I would knock this out. The beard is unplugged because I knew I was going to do this review today. Wow, a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so before we do that, looks like there's a letter of some type open this up. Busy day, end of the last week of the year, obviously. Alrighty. So, Anointed Beardsman sent stories, ingredients, and Christmas sale information. Well, we're not going to have a Christmas sale as a result of this, but I'm going to put out that information so uh, I'm sure it's going to be honored after this review. There's, it looks like uh, there's one called Five Smooth Stones, one called Country Nobleman, one called Burn the Ships, and the ingredients in the beard oil are hemp seed oil, jojoba, argan oil, grapeseed, castor, pumpkin seed, apricot, sweet almond, rice bran, Avocado, vitamin E, fragrance, which consists of essential oils. In the conditioning beard balm, we have beeswax, shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut oil, hemp seed oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, grapeseed oil, castor, pumpkin seed, apricot, sweet almond, rice bran. Avocado, vitamin E, essential oils for fragrance. A lot of the stuff that I expect to be in bombs and oils. So let's just start opening some of these things up. Put the knife over here so it doesn't fly off. Everything is bubble wrapped. Oh, now this is kind of cool. He has little cards, business cards, attached to each product. The business card on one side. On the other side, a handwritten note. You're worthy. You're awesome. Be relentless, which is one of my things that I say all the time. You're loved. What else is there? You're amazing. A little personal touch. You're a world changer. I'm just reading these. We'll get into the products in a second. You're valuable. You're gifted. You're a miracle. There's a lot of product in here. There's none like you. All of these things I totally agree with. You're blessed. And I think that is it. This bubble wrap over here for a second. Make sure we got everything. We do. Now, let's just take a random beard oil. I like these little bubble wrap bags, kind of like these little pockets with a little adhesive on them, like that. Definitely reusable. Anointed Beardsman Beard Oil. This is called Five Smooth Stones. The scent notes are sandalwood, vanilla, sweet orange, and amber. I really like that. I like that a lot. Let me find... Okay, now here's Five Smooth Stones Beard Balm. The business card. You can take a screenshot of that if you'd like. Shane Warrington, owner-operator, anointed beardsman, 
YouTube at Anointed Beardsman, Facebook, the Anointed Beardsman page, Instagram is Anointed Beardsman, and the website is anointedbeardsman.com. I'm going to put all of those things down below in the comment section. So I have, I don't know if you can see this here, I have just a load of, let me move this, see, a whole load of oils and balms here. Put that back up. All right. So my first thing that I would do is I would put on beard oil. And being that I knew I was going to do this today, I didn't put anything on the beard. So this will be my first oiling, oiling of the day. It sounds weird. My first oiling of the day. A black glass, kind of a matte finish. Nice label. Paper label. Textured. Printed nicely. Dropper bottle. Let's just look at the initial scent. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. This is five smooth stones with scents of sandalwood, vanilla, sweet orange, and amber. Let's just put a little bit on. About a dime in the hand. All through. Take these off so I don't get my glasses all oily. I'm in my hair studio right now. I got the door shut. The salon is buzzing and this is my lunch hour. I tend to do interviews and product reviews and crank out videos <laughs> instead of eating lunch. I kind of nibble throughout the day. All right. Of course, never waste your beard oil. You can use it as a moisturizer on your tattoos, on your arms, especially in the winter time. <laughs> Let me go get my uh, Kent brush. Hold on. Just Kent brush going. I'm going to do a video on this beard here that I started at the beginning of November for No Shave November. And what I'm calling this beard, I'm going to do a separate video, but my inspirations for this beard were um, Jonathan Goldsmith, the most interesting man in the world, Narendra Modi, who's the Prime Minister of India, and Ernest Hemingway. I wanted a short beard, two fingers above the Adam's apple for the line. I didn't want like a strong wedge kind of thing. Normally my hair grows up here, so I just kind of knocked off this stuff here. I use beard oil right out of the shower, get dressed, and then put the beard balm on for grooming. But the, the beard is not long enough to actually control the direction, so no matter no matter what I do with this, this is basically just to spread the oil and actually not, I really can't groom it. It's not long enough to control the direction, but this is the beard that I'm going to have this winter. And it's being received quite well um, amongst my group of friends and with the Saltress. All right, so let's just take a look at the balm. It's in a nice heavy jar. It's glass. Heavy. Heavy. And again, I don't know the price points. You'll have to go to the website. I try products for quality, not for price. Some people do all their shopping based upon price, and that's okay, depending on where you're at. I mean, there's there's different ways of doing things. I've I've uh, I like to comment on the quality of the product and how it how it works with my white beard. All right. There's
there's the label, five smooth stones. It's got that little protective top on it that you see on a lot of high-end cosmetics. Nice, thick jar. Do you reuse or save bottles after they're empty, like essential oils and beard products? I do, and I put other things in them. All right, so here's the test. Let's see. All right, nice and firm. It's firm. I like that. So it's not mushy. It's not like a creamy one. Slightly amber in color. Melting nicely. Yeah, just a couple rubs and it melts. That's good. No chunks in it. I'm not feeling any like any uh, particulate matter in there. Okay. Let's go like this. A little on the face because it's nine degrees underneath. a little in the hair. Salt just cut my hair yesterday. You like my haircut? I like to get it all through, go all the way down to the skin. And then of course I always put some on my... If I'm wearing a collar I don't do this only because I don't want to get oil or beeswax on a collar of a of a uh, dress shirt or my jackets or anything like that but if I'm wearing just a crew neck like this then I usually put it here and it's good uh, for wrinkles and turkey neck as you get older one of the things I noticed after I shaved off or buzzed off the big beard I spent two years as you know with a, a huge beard okay and you're always stroking it pulling it but you gotta realize when you're pulling on the beard, you're really pulling on your skin. And I noticed that when I buzzed it off, that this skin under here got super loose, like turkey neck. Literally, you could see like these vertical lines. So I started putting beard balm and oil underneath of the skin that I stretched out for two years. Look at this, gone, tight as can be. I mean, literally, it just, it just, the resilience of my skin, because I have a pretty good diet as well, it just came right back. It was loose. I mean, when I went like that, it shook. It literally was like, you know, turkey neck. Can't believe I just said turkey neck. But take a look. See that? Tight. All right. This is appropriate on a cold day. Let's take the Kent brush. You can get Kent brushes on Amazon. I can put a link down below. I believe Beard Brand sells Kent brushes, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of companies sell Kent brushes. Even Kent sells Kent brushes. All right. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm so used to having a long mustache and either doing this. It, I think it's just learned behavior and muscle memory where I just every time I touch my mustache I'm either going down like this or doing this but I'm really not controlling any of the direction all right I like it the smell is magnificent I will I will put this five smooth stones probably in my top ten of beard balm and beard oil scents honestly it really is nice the oils are ultra emollient um, they're soaking in quickly I'm not getting a greasy feel right now at all let me do the fingerprint test Let's see. Not a lot of fingerprints on the Crystal Skull Vodka. That's a good thing. That means that it truly is ultra emollient oils that they're soaking in quickly. If you, if you did just put like olive oil 
on your beard. When you touch your smartphone or anything glass or a mirror or your glasses, you'd be leaving fingerprints everywhere. The ultra emollient oils soak in quick so you're not leaving these thick, oily, greasy fingerprints everywhere. So I think it would be a good choice to get oil and balm from Anointed Beardsman. I'm going to put the links down below. I'm happy with it. I'm wearing it for the rest of the day. And this will probably go into my personal arsenal. So Shane Warrington of Leland, North Carolina. Thank you so much for the care that you put into your product. It is a quality product. And it's just another thing to go into your beard care and grooming arsenal. Have multiple products of different consistencies. Something for winter, something for summer, something for spring, something for every day, something for work, something for going out. Switch it up a little bit. It makes things a little more interesting, takes the boredom away. And I know for me as a changeaholic and someone who gets bored really easy with stuff, uh, I love the change and I like switching things up as far as scents and consistencies are concerned, especially now that the beard is shorter and this is probably where I'm going to keep it at for the winter, my guess. Could change tomorrow though, you never know. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Check the links down below. Talk to you soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.